I did not come to bring peace. Matthew 10, 5. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not in... Now this is about ministry. And Jesus commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans. Do not enter. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses, nor script for your journey, neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yes staves. For the workman is worthy of his meat. And into whatsoever city or town you shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till you go thence. And when you come into a house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whatsoever, sh- and whosoever, whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when you depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust off your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah and the day of judgment than for that city. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be you therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. For it is not you that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaks in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but you that endure to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in the city, flee you to another. For verily I say unto you, shall not have gone over the cities of Israel, Till the Son of Man be come. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master, and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more shall they call them of his household? Fear not them, therefore. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. And hid that shall be not made known. What I tell you in darkness, you speak in the light. And what you hear in the ear, that preach you upon the housetops. And fear not those that kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not to spare a soul for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father? But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear you not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I am not come to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and he that takes not his cross and follows after me is not worthy of me. He that finds his life shall lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. He that receives you receives me. And he that receives me receives him that sent me. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever 
shall give a drink to one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple. Verily I say to you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Luke 10. 1. After these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place whether he himself would come and therefore he said to them the harvest truly is great but the laborers are few pray you therefore the lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers into the harvest go your ways behold i send you forth as lambs among the wolves carry neither purse nor scrip nor shoes and salute no man by the way and into whatsoever house you enter first say peace be to this house and if the son of peace be there, the your peace shall rest upon it. If not, it shall turn to you again. And in the same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they give for the laborers worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house and into whatsoever city you enter that are therein and say unto them, The kingdom of God has come nigh unto you. But into whatsoever city you enter and they receive you not, go your ways out into the streets of the same and say, even the very dust of your city, which cleaveth on us, we do wipe off against you. Notwithstanding, be you sure of this, that though the kingdom of God has come nigh unto you, but I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city. Woe unto you, Chorazin! Woe unto you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works had been done in Tyre and Sidon, which had been done in you, they had a great while ago repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes, but it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted to heaven, shall be thrust down to hell. He that hears you hears me, and he that despises you despises me, and he that despises me despises him that sent me. And the seventy turned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give into you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes even so father for it seemed good in your sight all things are delivered to me of my father and no man knows who the son is but the father and who the father is but the son and to whom the son will reveal him and his turned to his disciples and said privately blessed are the eyes which see the things that you see for i tell you many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which you see and have not seen them and to hear those things which you hear and have not hear heard them wow luke 12 1 then peter said unto him speaks out this parable unto us or even to all and the lord said who then is the faithful and wise steward whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of meat in due season. Blessed is that servant whom when the Lord comes shall find him so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he has. But, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delays his coming in, shall begin to beat the man, servants and maidens, and to eat and drink and to be drunken, then the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looks not for him. At an hour when he is not aware and will cut him in sunder and will appoint him his portion with unbelievers. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But it, he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required. And two men have committed much, of them they will ask more. I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how I am straight until it be accomplished. I suppose that you, suppose you that I come to give peace on the earth? I tell you, nay, but rather division. For from henceforth there shall be five in one house, divided three against two, and two against three. 
The father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Luke fourteen twenty five. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I said unto you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world gives, gives I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Now this is a different kind of peace. This is an inward peace. It's not a worldly peace, because in the world we will not have peace. These other scriptures say that. Jesus didn't come to bring peace. He came to bring a sword. He came to divide families and households, and those who love God and who love not, who are doing the will of the Father and are not. Luke sixteen thirty three, These things I have spoken to you that you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And Luke twenty nineteen. Then the same day at evening, between the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst. This was after his death and burial. And he said to them, Peace be unto you. And when they had so said, he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. And they said to Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them. And he said unto them, Receive you the Holy Spirit. Whosoever sins you remit, they are remitted to them. And so whoever sins you retain, they are retained.